Hi Gemini, this is your 2020 general reading. I hope I'm, I hope you're doing well. I was going to say I hope I'm doing well, but I hope you're doing well. Um, so this is going to be a general reading for you. And I also want to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Also, if you would like to book a private paid reading with me, information for that will also be down below. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And if you would like to purchase my bracelets on Etsy, which is the last thing I would like to mention, then they are also on there as well. This one here is the 2020 Energy Bracelet. They are meditated with, they are saged, all of my bracelets are meditated and saged, and they are there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. There are lots of bracelets on there from Twin Flame, Love, Soulmate, Career, Finance, Wealth, Heart Chakra, Throat Chakra, Confidence, Wisdom, evil eye you name it so they start from just three pounds with free international shipping and a link to my etsy will be down below and also you know do check out the reviews as well and see you know how they've been working for other people and how it all works so if you are interested the link for that will be down below again they are you know they start from a very very affordable price for sure so let's get started gemini with this reading and see what's coming up oh look at that seven of wands for 2020, okay? The cards are coming out very, very easily today. Okay, so we have here the Seven of Wands with the Strength card, Page of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing is that 2020 can get off to a bit of a wobbly start, okay? What and this is not necessarily a terrible thing because it's not like you're completely consumed by just not being able to get out of bed or something like that. That's not the kind of energy I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is that 2020 looks to be a much more of a stronger year for you. Okay, so if you found that 2019 was just so difficult, you just couldn't deal with it. It was just, it was, you know, challenging and just very, it just felt off, you know, off balance, just didn't feel good, you know. What I'm seeing is 2020 is so much more of an uplifting year for you. The beginning part of it might still be a little bit off balance, but the big thing here is that you're not giving up. Now, if you found that 2019 wasn't really that bad, you know, it's an okay year, then I'm still seeing that 2020 is a very strong year for you because it is a year of growth. It is a year of you getting so much more balance and also you not giving up. Seven of Wands is about not giving up. Seven of Wands is, yes, it's about being a little bit like still very wobbly in terms of your emotions or your mental health or even your physical health, your spiritual health. But it's also about not giving up, which also gives you that reward in return. So the big message here is please don't give up on your spiritual health, your mental health, your physical health or your emotional health. Keep working towards the goals that you have and continue, continue, continue because you will find yourself getting so much stronger throughout the course of the year. I'm also seeing money coming in for you with the page of pentacles. I'm seeing a huge amount of, you know, um, just really good things, you know, resources coming your way as well, gifts. So there's a lot coming in here in regards to that. The money element can also be tied into your work as well. But what I'm seeing is that things are getting stronger for you, especially financially as well. Okay, so that is a nice way to start. There we go, Nine of Pentacles, right? Financially, things are getting stronger for you in 2020 as well. And this is also about you becoming so much more confident within yourself. Remember, don't give up. Don't give up. Things like meditation, yoga, journaling, riding your bike, different forms of mindfulness are very, very beneficial for you. We have here the infinity symbol above the strength card, which really does point towards the fact, and the guides are saying this, mindfulness is your thing in 2020. You know, any form of mindfulness, there are so many forms of it, even journaling is a form of mindfulness as well. Taking a bit of pamper time for yourself can also be a form of mindfulness. Sitting in a park, a lot of nature in these cards right here can also be a huge form of it as well make sure you take that time for yourself because it is going to contribute to the growth of you in that year in 2020 look at that eight of cups this is also about that eight of cups is about self-discovery you know eight of cups has a lot of different meanings but especially with what we're talking about, this is about self-discovery, this is about you doing you, this is about you trying to get your emotions, you know, 
in control and understanding yourself more and more, this is really the year for you to flourish as an individual and that is what I'm seeing. And you know, when you flourish as an individual, it just allows things to get so much stronger in other areas of your life, which is why I'm seeing the stronger you feel within yourself, the more self-discovery you do within yourself, the more it just contributes to you becoming stronger and you just go from strength to strength to strength. Oh, hell yeah, Gemini. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we've also got here this card just flipped over. It's the Knight of Swords. Okay, so we have, well, let's put the Queen of Cups here. Okay, so I was talking quite a lot about emotions and I'm not surprised that quite a lot of these cup cards have come out because of course it's water energy. So we've got Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, we've also got the Hierophant. Okay, so this really does indicate love, especially with the Hierophant. We also have the Knight of Swords as well, and since I'm at it, I might as well shuffle for the other two cards. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Whoa, Gemini. Gemini. So, right, the Queen of Cups really is representing and showing you feeling so much better within yourself, stronger with your, within yourself, and emotionally very, very balanced. This is also about self-acceptance, accepting yourself, giving yourself that self-love with the Ace of Cups, and you know when you give yourself all of that. When you commit to yourself, you give yourself that self-love and self-acceptance, you know what happens? People also give you that in return, and that is huge. So this is very, very important. You must really put this energy into yourself because you will start receiving it left, right, center. The universe is going to be programming it in such a way that you get it in return. You know, so love is also showing through in 2020 for you, but this also is the love part of it is so much stronger and it feels so much better when you are so much stronger within yourself. Wheel of Fortune, very auspicious. It's showing that the new year, the new cycle coming towards you in 2020 is just full of blessings and abundance. You will just feel so lucky in 2020. Two of Pentacles here is about balance. Again, you've got these rocky waves showing the emotional side, you know, so it's showing that you will have it under control, especially with this infinity symbol. Again, we also have the infinity symbol there with the strength card, so it's all tied together, okay? You will be very, very balanced. You see how all these cards just suddenly link to one another? There it is. Also, Six of Wands here, there is love, really. I mean, love is progressing. If you're already with someone, this is progressing, progressing, progressing. If you're single, it is progressing, progressing, progressing. Okay, and it's coming your way. So I'm seeing love here in 2020 for you, definitely. You know, this is about potential, union, progression. It's about victory and success. It's about celebration and happiness. It's about things really manifesting in that direction. We also have the Knight of Swords, and this is really showing, again, you know, just you feeling so open to things, feeling happy, energetic, excited, you know, not being weighed down in any way, shape, or form, because you will work through the emotional parts of it. And just feeling really open as well, and free, especially with that bird on top of that Ace of Cups. Hierophant here, you will feel stable within yourself, you will feel confident within yourself, you will feel like you've just gained so much knowledge, you've gained a lot of power, you've just understood a lot and you've just become so much stronger within yourself and also with the people around you as well. So Gemini, this is looking to be a year of just growth and transformation and just blessings upon blessings. You going from strength to strength as well. So if you found that this reading resonates with you, um, let me know in the comment section below and also do um, let me know what you thought about this reading as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do also check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, and also my bracelets, which are on Etsy. The link to absolutely everything will be in the description box below. Whew. What a reading, right? What a reading. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. In same. So I hope you all have an absolutely lovely day, night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and showing me so much support and take care everyone. Bye!